Hello, so I'm using a Flutter flow to create my app and I want to connect my data from Google Spreadsheet. I have a very simple table here with products with ID, name, price and image and I want to query this data into Flutter flow. I will show you how you can do this simple using API flow integration platform and we will start with creating a project in API flow. So first of all, you need to create a project and select the Google Sheets as the service we will connect. Next, what we need to do, we need to create Google Sheets connection. We will give it some name, for example, API flow demo. Any names that will uh, help you in the future to understand what type of connection it is. And next, what we need to do, we need to create sharing URL in our document in Google Spreadsheet. So sharing URL allow you to restrict access only to this document. You don't need to share all access to your Google Drive with an API full platform. And when you enable access uh, with link, you can specify access level so you can use viewer level if you want only to read data from tables or editor level if you will read and update and save data into google sheets i will use editor level and you'll copy this link and paste it here so now we connected our google spreadsheet to our api for project next we need Choose if we have hidden row in our document, and I will mark this option as yes because I have uh, labels uh, hidden row in my table. I recommend you to use uh, hidden row too to be able in the future to uh, to enable better work with your data. So next, we need to select what tables what spreadsheet we actually will open to be able uh, to assess via api flow to generate api so i will use product table and after i set all settings i can publish my integration project next what i need to do is to download open api definition i will do so i have it here and now i will go to my photo full project to API calls and will upload, will import my API flow uh, to uh, my photo full project. So now I uploaded open API definition to my photo full project. And next, what I need to do, I need to copy authorization header from Lizer and paste it here this is special authorization header to protect access to your data and now we have here all actions that will uh, allow us to query and insert rows to our product uh, spreadsheet and get rows by index and update products so how it works we send a request and api flow query your connected table and return data from it. You even can use search. For example, you want to search name, peer, and it will return you relevant data. So this is how we can connect data from Google Spreadsheet to API flow project. Next, I will show how you can use this data. If you already familiar about how to make API calls and map them to your uh, to your uh, Flutter flow components, it's uh, you can skip this and go directly connect document and uh, try it with API platform. But if not, I recommend you to uh, watch a little bit more of this video i will show you how to actually use this data so we will go and create new data type we will call it product call it product and i will add a few fields i will use name uh, type string i will use price 
and I will use image I have in my table and for image I will choose image parts tape type now so now I go to my response and mark that I want to parse my products to data type product and the response will be a list do not forget to save your work at this point so we marked that we want to parse return it result to product and this is a list data now i go to my screen where i have a list a gallery of products and i will choose i need to select grid view it will be my parent element and i will add the backend query api call group list product rows and this will be my backend query next i will choose dynamically generate children from variable and i will use list product rows response as data type no any changes required and i will call this variable products as we see grid view will dynamically generate children based on results of our query so now i will quickly map uh, wired fields in i will use image as background image for my container i will use data structure field image as product name i will use name from my product and as price i will use a price from my project okay okay great and now we can test our product and we expect it to load and we'll see result of our work how we mapped our data and as you can see it query data from my document and if i will go change something for example i will decide to make names a little bit upper case here first upper I need to reload my app very fast. And our data is updated. So that's how you can connect Google Sheet and query data from it into your Flutterfall project. And you can use filters, you can use dynamic load, and such and such are all uh, features that Flutterfall provides to work with data and data types in your project so please check uh, api flow platform for your tasks in the next video related to on google sheets i will also show how to send data to google spreadsheet and if you will have any questions please contact us uh, to chat on uh, inside api flow or uh, using youtube I will uh, leave a link to our website and a link to uh, this template. I will continue to work with it to show you how you can use uh, more features with Google Spreadsheet. And thank you for your attention and have a nice day.